Yakuza members are rarely welcomed in Japanese society. Though omnipresent, they're rejected from the regular side of life. Laws and conditions make it difficult for them to live normal lives. Therefore, mobsters actually live as outcasts, with few opportunities to redeem themselves. A man by the name of Noburo Andu was one of the fortunate Japanese gangsters who escaped the harshness of Yakuza life and rose through the ranks thanks to his talent and composure. Impeccably cool and naturally nonchalant, the Japanese ex-Yakuza passed in 2015, but led a furiously eventful life that I will be covering in today's video. The Yakuza are Japanese gangsters who are members of Byurokodon, meaning violence groups in Japanese, or mafia-like criminal organizations. The Yakuza practice samurai-style rides and frequently sport intricate body tattoos. Extortion, blackmail, smuggling, prostitution, drug trafficking, gambling, loan sharking, day labor contracting, and other rackets are common in major Japanese cities. And they control numerous restaurants, bars, trucking companies, talent agencies, taxi fleets, factories, and other businesses. They are also involved in criminal activities all around the world. The term Yakuza, meaning good for nothing, is thought to have originated from a worthless hand in a Japanese card game akin to Baccarat or Blackjack. The cards Yakuza 893 when combined together yield the worst conceivable total. The Yakuza's origins are unknown, but they are supposed to have originated from gangs of ronin who were masterless samurai. Their ancestors can also be traced back to Banza swindlers and gamblers throughout Japan's feudal period. Noburo Ando was born 24th of May 1926 in Tokyo. Ando was the oldest of four children to a samurai father. After finishing primary school in Yokohama, he went to junior high in Manchuria, where his father worked, but was expelled and returned to Tokyo to live with family. After barely three months, he was dismissed from another institution and began running with other delinquents before being transferred to a reformatory school for theft. In December 1943, he enlisted in the military for pilot training, and in June 1945, he volunteered for a suicide frogman unit. Fortunately though, the war ended before he saw any action. He returned to Tokyo and enrolled in Hosei University, but he resumed his illicit activities and dropped out in May 1948. That's when Ando formed his gang, the Angogumi, and chef the Yakuza family. The family was mainly composed of good-for-nothing former college kids. With more than 300 members at its peak, the group would operate in the Shibuya district. They had legitimate real estate and entertainment firms, such as nightclubs, operating under the name Azuma Kogyo. In June 1958, a hitman ordered by Ando shot businessman Hideki Yokoi. Yokoi had insulted Ando when he hired his gang to recover a debt owed by Yokoi. The police would eventually be looking for Ando, who was hiding at his mistress's house, Yoko Yamaguchi's Yoyogi apartment. After 35 days on the run, Ando was apprehended in Hayama and sentenced to six years in jail. When he was released in December 1964, he legally disbanded his Yakuza family after the death of one of his guys and speaking with that man's mother as the reason. After his release, the Ando Gumi was no more and the ex-Yakuza head chef was broken desperate. That's when he got his first role. Ando was recruited by a producer from Shoshika for his debut role in a 1965 film called Blood and Rules, and his role was to literally play himself. Following its popularity, he wanted and was granted a $20 million contract to exclusively work for the studio. He would star in three films by Taikato. According to Ando, acting came easily to him as a result of his underworld life. In Japanese, the only difference between Yakuza and Yakusha, meaning actor, is only one hiragana character. He has been quoted as saying, all Yakuza have to be actors to survive. From there, his acting career skyrocketed. Koji Shindo, a producer at Toei and a former Yakuza himself, enticed Ando to join the company in 1967. This, however, violated the five-company agreement and an automatic extension in his contract with Shoshika. 
but was ultimately allowed given Ando's unfamiliarity with the workings of the film industry. He would then appear in a total of 51 Toei films over his career. Though most of his roles were in Yakuza films, encouraged by his peers and his fame, Ando wrote books about self-help and his experience as a mobster, produced occasionally, and also sang after signing to Canyon Records. Due to his father being from the samurai lineage, which may or may not be why Ando has shown so much honor and dedication in his life. Through the years, he starred in several more films, detailing his Yakuza's family history, including Ando Noboro no Waga to Bo to Se Ex no Kiroku in 1976, which depicted his sexual escapades while on the run from the police. After appearing in Sadao Nakajima's The Big Boss's Head in 1979, Ando largely retired from acting. On the 16th of December 2015, Ando sadly died of pneumonia in a Tokyo hospital at the age of 89. A farewell service was held on 28th of February 2016 at Aoyama Funeral Home in Tokyo. It was attended by an estimated 700 people, including many big names such as Sadao Nakajima, Junya Sato, Yasuo Furata, Tatsuo Amemiya, and Yoshiko Mita. Although he is less well known in the West, Noboru Ando is a historical figure in Japanese cinema and crime. Revolutionary Japanese directors like Kinji Fukusaku and Takashi Miike have worked alongside him. Throughout his life, he inspired and encouraged those around him, and he fed our fascination with the obscure, mysterious, and intimidating Yakuza lifestyle. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the life of Noboru Andu. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating stories. それじゃあ破門するしかねえな。上等。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>